Hello all my fellow fish keepers and welcome to Royal Fish Aquatics. Hello fish keepers, how you doing today? Well, this video I'm doing today is to show you guys how I build this rack you see behind me that houses 8 10 gallon tanks, 3 20s, a 29 and a 55. So I'm going to show you what I did to build this rack. I mean, and the mistakes that I went through it because I did a couple mistakes but they're minor easy to fix and um, let's get started now so this is the spot that I chose in my garage for me to build my new rack for my fish room the first thing I did I laid three bricks on the floor with three two by four nine feet long across them and then I stacked my bricks three high but then I could work on the next level across but I ran into a situation here three bricks high was not enough for my 55 gallon to fit in there perfect and for me to have room to deal with my tanks whenever I add water and have my fish so I came up with a quick solution four high so this worked like magic four high is enough space for me to be able to deal with my 55 gallon and be able to install a shop light right above it and it's gonna be very convenient for me so simple problem simple solution ended up working great for me at the end so my next step was pretty simple I stacked three more bricks on top of my system bricks but I ran into another problem because I miscalculated now I am two bricks short but simple solution go to Lowe's and go get some more so this is the finished product. This is exactly how my rack looks and it's very convenient. I mean 10 gallons on top all the way across. I could, in the middle I could hold 320s and the bottom I could hold a 29 and a 55 gallon. Sturdy, perfect, very convenient, low cost and um, it's a lot of gallons and a lot of fish could be held right here just on one wall. So this is how the rack looks and right up here up top right now I got five tens and one five but all the way across I could fit eight ten gallon tanks right here where my electrical mag craziness is at holds 120 and I could hold two more 20s down here's a 29 will fit in there and that goes my 55 right there well like I showed you I did the mistake and I thought it'll be only three bricks tall like I told you but it's four so it gives me plenty of space to reach in there and the other mistakes I did was I had all my tanks inside my house so I thought okay they're running they're fine they're perfect let me move them outside but I was running all these small pumps see this madness I got these two pumps right here I got another pump down here and I'm running another pump up here and with all those pumps I'm costing all this right here so I can't move my 20 gallon I got 20 gallon um, black convict cyclic tanks they'll fall right here and um, now I figured out you know what now nah, I need a linear linear air pump so I'm gonna mount a pump approximately somewhere up there and I'm gonna run PVC pipe all the way across here so now I can start running airlines to every single one of my tanks so I could run all my sponge filters. So that's a mistake that I did. Another thing I want to do is after I clean all that up and everything, I'm going to put lights underneath all these. I got one light set up and that's this light right here. I bought this light at Lowe's. Very inexpensive. It's just a regular shop light. And you see, it does beautiful, beautiful light lighting for my 55. You know, I'm housing two pairs of angel fish in here, two breeding pairs. And then I won't have this madness either with all these airlines. So it's taking a little bit of time and process. In here, I'm going to move inside this spot is my 29 sunset cell fin molly tank I got a nice colony going on and 
is housing a trio in there. I too got two platies in there that I need to get them in their own tank. And they have tons and tons of baby. Right now that tank has like over 30 babies. And these are more of their babies that they have in here. Look, that's two days. That's just two days. So I gotta clean this today. Today I'll be doing water changes after I'm done filming. And uh pretty soon these will be up for auction on Aquabid. Or you could contact me and I will message you back and we could do something about these. These are some very, very nice fish. And um, pretty soon I'm going to be doing my complete fish room tour. See? You probably remember these out of my Welcome to Royal Fish Aquatic video. I had these two guys, this pair in there. And I'm housing them with my other pair. Right there. And the ones that are down here too were in that 55. So that 55 doesn't have much right now, but just my sharks, one angelfish, my pleco, my rose barbs, my Daniels. And um, I'm hoping I um I got a shipment of fish coming in this week. Hopefully I get my sword tails. And when that's all done, I'm gonna put two twenties right here. And my goal is to have two trios, one trio here, one trio here, two different types of sword tails. Get those going. Um, I got a black convict inside this tank right here. Doesn't have a light, but he's doing good. That might be going out of the fish room since I don't have a pair and I already got my other pair of cichlids. And I'm going to end up putting three more tens. And those three other tens are going to be for me to start raising more fry. And then I have this rack right here, which is a mess. But because I've been working on the fish room and it's just convenient to put everything there. But this is going to be another rack. And I'm going to put more 10 gallons in there to keep raising more fry, more guppies. So I've been debating making this rack just for fries and get some more guppies up here and everything and more platies and just make this eight across just you know eight all the way across with guppies and platies and just raise all my fries out of this rack right here and then this tank right here which i need to make a cover for it make a light for it I am housing seven small baby flower horns. Beautiful flower horns I got in here. But you guys will get to see that when I put a light in there and you will see you see some movement in there right now. But that will be pretty soon. It's a working process. We're working, we're working in the fish room. Well, thank you guys for joining me today with Royal Fish Aquatics. Um don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, what should I work on? What shouldn't work on? That's going to help me make better video for you guys. Um, tell more people. Spread the word out there. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. Don't forget to hit the bell. It's very important. You will know every time I put new videos. And once again, thank you for joining Royal Fish Aquatic.